Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Dono with Ovali.com where we offer web hosting and cloud services to small businesses across the United States. And today's live stream, um, we've decided to call it The Cloud Maven because I do write a personal blog at thecloudmaven.com, which I apologize hasn't been too focused on cloud stuff lately. Um, I do have a toddler at home building a business. I do young female entrepreneurs. And so I've been kind of focused on whatever I'm doing at the present. So hopefully this live stream will be able to bring it back into perspective and be talking about some of the services I think other women will be interested in um, finding out, especially when it comes to cloud services, like some of the things that we'll be talking about today and in the coming weeks. And I am on the live chat and it looks like we have Parallels Cloud, um, the Twitter handle. Oh my goodness, it's a famous person on the chat. So um, we're going to be going through a very light live stream today because it's talking about the new Plesk 11 features for your small business. So I'm specifically talking to the small business owner here and just some pieces that I wanted to pull out of some of the features that are happening. Um, and you know what, let me turn this off. Um, some of the features that are coming out that are new that I feel like you guys will benefit from. So just a few little pieces that I thought were most important and then I will be on the live chat like I said. So if you have questions, go ahead and throw them out there and I'll try to answer them to my best ability. I got the privilege of sitting in on a webinar yesterday with some of the top people that put together this panel this new uh, panel and so I'm very excited to try and share some of my favorite points out of it with you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I apologize if I sound a little off today. My son's been sick. So the first thing um, of course is that the intuitive interface. So this is a big deal with our clients specifically because um, uh, <sighs> Some of you know some of the competing control panels that are out there. You come from other hosts and come to Ovali, and it's like a breath of fresh air. For those of you that actually use your control panel, Plesk panel is very pretty, right? That's what we get a lot of comments are um, saying that, oh, it's so pretty, it's easy to use, it's very intuitive. You understand, okay, I want to click here to create an email address, that type of a thing. So what they're doing is just furthering that with Plesk 11. Now, um... <laughs> My mother, who's also my business partner, Kathy, uh, Kathy K. Nelson is her Twitter handle. She was a little taken aback by the colors and everything when we were at um, the uh, Parallel Summit in January when we first saw the new panel um, roll out and they were talking about the design changes. And of course, these are just um, some images that they had made available to partners so that we could use it in promotions. So unfortunately, I won't be sharing my desktop today. Um, but I did want to give you just a sneak peek at what it's going to be looking like. Now, this is a skin. And as far as I know, you can have it go back to the traditional layout and look. Um, so there hasn't been too much of um, a workflow change like they were talking about yesterday with me and the rest of um, some of the Plesk experts. Uh, so the the workflow is still very um, familiar, right? You go to websites and domains to manage your files, that type of a thing, right? Um, but as you can see, it's black. And like they said, it's cleaner and modern, more modern and just, I guess, easier to look through versus the blue and the white. And that was a little distracting, I guess you could say. And I apologize, I should have had a comparison to what the, the current panel looks like, but this is kind of where they're going as far as Plusk 11. And like I said, if you're not happy with the black, if you really did like the blue or um, you're just, you like to be a little bit more light and fluffy, uh, go ahead and use the different skins. But here's the thing. So last Friday, I did a live stream on seven actions that we want all small business owners to take when it goes to your control panel, right? So um, let me actually see if I can pull that up on here so I can go through the slides quickly in case you missed out on it. Um, so we went through some really basic stuff, like change your passwords, right? Let's see if I can go ahead and play this. So changing your passwords... And it's funny because if you're on here from Parallels or from another web hosting provider, you might think that this is kind of dummy talk or whatever. It's silly. But I feel like a lot of small business owners, you guys haven't even really opened up your current control panel and taken a peek at it, right? You have your designers and developers coming in. Um, but adding users is essential in here. And so Plesk 11 is just going to be furthering that, um, that call out for you to instead of Logging in, you know, you get that username and password from your web host when you create your web hosting account from Ovali or wherever you're hosting, hopefully from Ovali.com. Um, but then you just forward that email on to your designers and developers. We get that all the time. 
This is your online property, you guys. So as a small business owner, instead of doing that, open up your control panel. It's super easy to use. It's just in users. We were just looking at the new version and create another role for your designer and developer. And if you need help on doing that, go back into last week's uh, live stream. I don't want to say lecture because it's not a lecture. It's fun. It's a live stream. And again, I am on the chat if you're just joining and we're talking about plus 11 features. But very quickly, I'm going through seven actions that we talked about last week because some of you, like I said, aren't even using your control panel. Email aliases and autoresponders, we talked about doing that. Adding subdomains and aliases, also super important. A lot of you don't take full advantage of what you could actually be doing today on your control panel. Creating landing pages with Web Presence Builder, this is a big deal too. Um, creating, I mean, we see this all the time. You guys buy tons and tons of domains, right? Because you want to make sure that someone else doesn't take them. Well, instead of just letting those just sit there because you have to hire a designer or developer to create the website, create something using Web Presence Builder and get it out there easily. And we'll be talking about new features in Web Presence Builder in just one second. So the sixth one is to access WordPress from your control panel. And we'll be talking a little bit about the APS catalog in just a second. But the ability to one-click install applications, especially when it comes to WordPress, for small business owners is fantastic, and that's something that Plesk Panel allows you to do. And the seventh step is to just check out other apps. So along with WordPress, that's an application that you install onto your hosting account, right? You can see it in your control panel, and you can manage your files. There's a few other ones like um, Joomla, which I know a lot of you guys don't want to touch, and I totally understand. Um, but Sugar CRM, the free community edition is in there. And I, I think that application is fantastic because it is. It's free, and other CRMs are a few hundred dollars a month for one user. So as a small business owner, it's a big deal. So let's go ahead and go back into our topic at hand. But hopefully you take from that with the easy and um, the more uh, user-friendly presentation as far as Plus goes that you'll actually start to utilize your control panel. Um, a quick story about Ovali. So Ovali was... <laughs> Main Street Music. And you've heard my mom talk about it. We do a Monday night show here called Home Office Lifestyle. My mom and I sit here and it's a live stream at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 Eastern at ovali.tv slash live. And uh, she's talked about Main Street Music in the past, but Ovali came about because we had um, servers. We had a lot of servers because we were doing uh, online music downloads. And a very large corporate chain came and bought the music download catalog. And so my parents, being very smart business people, went ahead and they uh, repurposed the servers and allowed other people to do what my mom was able to do. She raised us, had us involved in the business. Now I'm her business partner. And, um, and now so we're able to give that gift, I guess you could say, to other people, teaching them how to use the servers. And so when they first started using Plesk, it was back in like 1999, and it was not called Plesk. So if you're on from Parallels, it was SWSoft, I believe, at the time. And um, I wish, gosh, I should have planned ahead and had a screenshot of what the panel looked like at that time. So even if you're using another panel, you probably understand that there is a huge difference in those screenshots that we were just looking at, right? So just really clean and easy to understand where everything is. Oh, here you see some statistics that you can see. So here, I mean, it's just big icons. It looks like if you were to open up your iPhone and click on an app. And if I could, what I would do is that I would lace the control panel with coffee, with caffeine, and sprinkle it with sugar if it would mean that you guys would log into your control panel and utilize it. I mean, you can be creating email addresses. Some of you still are on Gmail and Hotmail. So really appreciate the intuitive interface that they've got there. And also another thing is that they've embedded um, video tutorials and um, scenario-based um, uh, support pieces. So they not only have the video tutorials that you can look at, but they've also got the step-by-step, -step, um, like you could read it. Some of us still do read instructions, I guess. So that's really helpful for a small business owner. You don't have to click over to another area. It's all very easy to use and right there in your panel. Um, so the second piece, we just talked about intuitive interface. Um, website responsiveness. The page load times will be improving. Um, so they've got some fancy tech, techno schmechno stuff that happens. I'm not going to talk about that because, again, I'm talking to the small business owner. All you need to know is that pages could potentially be loading quicker because some of the things that Parallels 
has done in Plesk 11. So that's really exciting. It has to do with caching of images and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, another thing is the mobility, and um, it's making your websites more mobile friendly, and we'll talk about that in just a second. There's also some things as far as controlling your control panel, um, managing it on your iPhone, but I, um, again, you guys just need to start logging in on your desktop, and then we'll start talking about the mobile phone. So one-click installations, we talked about that as one of the big steps. A lot of you log into your WordPress account, use, you know, going to the domain.com slash WordPress. Well, what if you used your control panel as your home base? So you could manage your email address, you could manage your little um, web presence builder, websites, all from that one central location that you log in each and every day and change things. So the one-click installations of applications like WordPress um, is something that they've already had, but looking at the features, this was included in the new Plesk 11. There's, some, there's a lot of stuff that they kind of built up in the marketing. I love Plesk. I love parallels. I love, you know, all the stuff that they do, but some of their marketing stuff, I was like, okay, but that was in the last panel. <laughs> so Web Presence Builder is another thing. Um, we went over that quickly. And here I'm just going to pull up a quick little demonstration. Now, right, we were talking about um, these video tutorials that they're, that they're doing. And here you can see kind of a, a quick example of what you've probably seen in a lot of hosting uh, companies where it's a pretty dry tutorial, right? But at least here you can see some of the things that you can do within Web Presence Builder. And overall, I was lucky enough to have one of Parallel's representatives on a web a webinar that we did with Carissa Dunphy, who's our community relations manager. Now she um, she talked about a couple things within Web Presence Builder because you know the big thing here is that no matter how cool they've made it, no matter how many little changes they've done, like for example, this template. This is a template that you have when you open it up. You have a hundred different. Um, I believe they're called templates, 100 templates that you can choose from based off of what your business is. For example, if you're a bar, or if you're a cafe, if you um, want to use a personal travel website like this one, it gives you those options to choose from it, and then it pre-populates it with content, navigation, images, and everything, which I think is awesome because that's one of the hardest parts about doing a website is just getting started, Right. I, that I'm currently in stuck in that when it comes to WordPress. I wish WordPress would just do it all for me, but <laughs> um, it's not usually the case. So anyway, um, Web Presence Builder comes pre-populated with this content, and they've made a few different little modifications for those of you that are already using Web Presence Builder. Um, the first one is rounded edges, rounded corners, um, and you won't see this in the video at the moment that I'm showing you. Um, let me see if I can pop into it. If I have another image on here, I don't think I do. Um, but here you can see some of the video tutorials that are available, which is very cool. So the rounded corners, just small little design pieces that small business owners, the more customization that's possible of a website builder, the better, right? Because we all have very specific brands that we're trying to build online. And when you have something that's so cut and dry, it looks like a template, no matter what, right? So here's my next point with Web Presence Builder as far as these templates go. While they did improve the amount of templates, right, there's now a hundred different options for you to go with, you need to modify it. You could just go ahead, and that's one of their big things, is that you could go ahead and click publish and be done with it, but don't do that. As a small business owner, it looks like a template. So um, there's a lot of free design um, design tools that you could be using online. Picmonkey.com, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com is a big one. They're part of the Picnic, original Picnic team, which is a DIY photo editor. <coughs> Excuse me. Which you can go ahead and design a header from. I mean, in a lot of the marketing that uh, Parallels is using, they have um, some of these examples of um, different Web Presence Builders, what you could be doing with Web Presence Builder. So if you're not a designer, make sure that you use some of these DIY uh, image editing, that type of thing, tools. And really try and look at what it is that your business is trying to communicate, different action items. Don't just go ahead and go with the populated content. Use that as a jumping off point, which is fantastic. So the last piece um, that is improved that I really wanted to point out for you with Web Presence Builder is the mobile friendliness of it. A lot of our web hosting members would call in and say, hey, I just built this great site. But unfortunately, I opened it up on my iPad and it looks awful. <laughs> What's the deal? Um, and so as many of you small business owners know, 
a lot of our web traffic is now converting over to mobile devices. So you'll see that in some of your website statistics, right? Another good point of Web Presence Builder, they're now bringing in Google Analytics and um, your orders and all of these things are in one place. So for a small business, again, just log into your control panel and you are set to go. You don't have to have a lot of different passwords. Just keep it in with the control panel and you'll be golden. And if you can't remember your control panel U URL or anything like that, I know a lot of you have issues with that, bookmark it. Or just commit it to memory because it's not that hard. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I was talking about um, the mobile friendliness. So that's that's one great addition. We all need that. So the next point, so we went over intuitive interface. Um, we talked about, uh, let me go back, walk through it, website responsiveness, and then the one-click installations and web presence builder. And the last slide that I really wanted to go over is improved password security. There's just different standards that they've now set to make sure that everyone has a very secure password. But going again back to my point of really making full use of your control panel, um, go back to that other, uh, the live stream that I did on Friday. We record all of these because I know noon, it's usually at 11 o'clock on Fridays. This is a tough times for small business owners. Um, so we record them. Make sure you take take the take a peek and <laughs> create users. Um, but users is a big deal. Don't just forward your username and password onto your designer developer. You are essentially giving them the key to your business, right? So you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't give someone the master key to your your small business that you really just had a coffee date with. So make sure that you're being smart about it, creating accounts, different users that you could delete, remove, or make um, special permissions for. For example, with users, I know I'm getting a little off the topic here, but for a designer, you could also restrict them from accessing certain applications. If you just want them to stick with Web Presence Builder, you could not allow them to get into your WordPress installation. If you want an employee to be able to manage their email but not touch the website, you can go ahead and create that permission for them. So. Again, make full use of your of your panel, um, but improve password security. We're all very worried about security, especially when the more of our business we're moving into the cloud, online, that type of a thing. Um, you can rest assured that there's certain measures that are being taken that will help you create the best passwords for your small business. So we just talked about Parallels Plus Panel 11. Some of the I just pulled out a few points there. And again, I'm on the live stream, so if you have questions or additional points that you'd like to make known about Plus Panel, go ahead and add them in at this point. Um, but again. Uh, you've been watching the live stream. Um, it's an Ovali live class that we do every Friday here at Ovali TV Studio. Um, next week, next week, next Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific to uh, Eastern, I'm going to be talking about the Can Spam Act. Because a lot of you small business owners are violating it without even knowing about it, right? You guys are spamming people. <laughs> and I know that you don't intentionally do it, but um, you've got these email lists. You're adding tons of people in your Outlook into the blind carbon copy field, and um, you're not giving them opt-out areas. I mean, there's so many ways to um, go around it and to comply, and it's so easy. So we're going to be talking about that next Friday. Because there's a lot of things that happen as far as legally you could be fined, all sorts of fun stuff for it. But most importantly, no matter what, you're damaging your brand. And so we want to talk about that with you next Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific uh, to Eastern. Again, if you have any questions and you're watching this recorded video, make sure that you comment on the YouTube video and subscribe to the Ovali support channel. We also have an Ovali vlog channel, so try and find that over wherever you're watching this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic weekend.